Good morning, Saints. Today is Wednesday, November 10th. Happy birthday today to no one. There are no birthdays today. No birthdays today. Guys, since I didn't have any help on Monday, I brought in a friend to come do Halo with me. Hey. <laughs> hey. So good. <laughs> you look so good today. It's all you. Oh, stop. 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 All right. The day is St. Leo the Great. St. Leo the Great held strong convi convictions about the importance of the Bishop of Rome and the Church and viewed the Church as the persistence of Christ in the world, dedicated, dedicated to the buildings up in all church areas. St. Leo the Great was also a man of deep spiritual convictions. Saints, if you are planning on auditioning for the Christmas show, we have moved the due date for the online auditions to Friday at 10 p.m. to give you more time. All audition materials are on the Google Classroom, and the code can be found at stasaints.net slash theater. Tryouts for basketball begin November 15th. See Coach Cooper Smith if you have any questions. This next Friday, November 19th, the Illuminates... Illumini Speaker Series will have its most ambitious presentation yet. We will have not one, not two, but three St. Thomas Aquinas alumni coming in to speak for us. They are all experienced and knowledge engineers, and the speaker series will be formatted as an engineer paddle, panel. I am so excited to learn from them. Guys, Emily was so excited for the alumni speaker. She left to go get ready. So now I have Nathan here with the message. Hey, guys. You want a little history lesson? So... <laughs> On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918, an official armistice was put into effect that ended the fighting of the Great War between the Allies and their last remaining opponent, Germany. In the years following the conclusion of World War I, many countries would take several moments of silence on this fateful hour of this fateful day in order to commemorate the fallen and returning soldiers of World War I. After the end of World War II, individuals and communities will celebrate November 11th to honor all veterans, not just those that participated in World War I. Eventually, in 1954, Congress passed a bill proclaiming November 11th as Veterans Day. To celebrate this momentous day, momentous day of remembrance, the One Nation Under God Club will have cards available at lunch to write letters of thanks to our veterans in our parishes, at the VA hospital, and at our local VFW on Flom. Thank you so much, Nathan, for that amazing lesson. Thank you, Emily. Guys, on the menu today in the Saints Cafe, Chinese buffet. Now it is time for the fun fact of the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got the perfect one. Did you know that it was actually U.S. Representative Edward Reese of Kansas that proposed the bill that would ultimately change Armistice Day to Veterans Day? That's a Kansas thing. Well, Veterans I, Day is a Kansas thing. Nathan, I, didn't, I just didn't know that. That's why I told you. Thank you so much for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you <laughs> next week. I'm Emily. And I had Nathan and the other Emily here to help me. Signing off. Remember, stay classy, saints, and create while you're here.